Okay, so hopefully I can get through this without an interruption because I'd really like to share this with you guys. Um, this is going to be a quick tutorial for how to install Hoyo Play Launcher in Linux so you can play games like Zenless Stone Zero or I forget what the other ones are called because I don't play them, but they're also very popular. Um, I really like ZZZ. It's a great game um, for a free-to-play game. I think it's pretty amazing. Um, I've got like 60 hours in it. And it's really easy to install in Linux, um, as I'll showcase here in a moment. But there's basically three requirements for that. Um, if you're going to do it the way that I do it, one, you want the installers executable from the website, of course. Uh, you want Lutris. This is going to be the front end that we use with Proton to install it. Um, and we got some pretty based Epic games in here. Uh, and last but not least, and honestly, one of the more important steps is uh, Proton G. 10-25. Now you can go lower than that and maybe use 9-27 or 10-8, whatever it is, right? I'm not 100% sure, but more or less, if you have flat packs enabled on your system, it's super easy to grab this. You would just go into your terminal here and type in flat pack install Lutris. You'd go to the prompt, select yes. You would do the same thing for Proton Plus, like and type, um, and also install that. Um, and if this is like your first time booting and you haven't restarted yet, your flat packs might not show up right. So restart, they should show up, but you're probably already well past that. Um, you can get the system package for Lutris. I recommend against it personally because I've had nothing but bad experiences with it, but um, I'm sure this would work just fine. If, if you've had a good experience with it, it'll probably be fine for you. Um, and then really the next thing that you do is have that Lutris install. You got it running, right? Yeah, buddy, it's right there. Uh, and then you just want to come over here to Proton Plus. And I usually install Proton GE in my Steam directory because it can be shared between launchers. So I'll just install Proton GE 10-25. As you can see, it says you. Um, so you just click the download button, let it finish. Make sure you restart your game launchers, and then it should recognize. Um, and what I like to do in Luke specifically is come over here to Wine in the Runner section, and I will click Configure, and then I will set... 10-25 Proton GE as my default one version for Lutris as a whole. That's what I run every game on. I've tested like 20 or 30 games in here. Game launchers, everything's worked flawlessly. So um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to come click this little plus button up here and add a locally installed game. This is how I do it. There might be a better way to do this, but this has worked for me consistently for a very long time. Um, so you'll just type in Hoyo Play, and it should actually pull in a, a little icon for it, which would be cool. I'm going to go to Runner and select Wine. Game options, and we're going to select that EXE, which I have saved to my desktop. Uh, and then once again, G10-25 is selected there. As you can see, it pulled in the icon, and or the cover art, I should say. And we're going to click play. Um, so now it's kind of just a waiting game and a little bit of figuring, but we're going to get there. So we're going to select these EULAs. I'm going to go custom installation here. Now this is pretty important. I like to keep my stuff separated. So I'm actually going to install this in my home partition. So I've got a games folder here that Heroic created. I've got my stuff separated, so Heroic, this is for games, the prefixes are for that. And then I've got the same thing for Lutris, except Lutris's prefix is... So, couldn't find a way to specify that in the app, but, you know, whatever. So I'm going to select this folder, uh, click OK, we're going to click Continue, and Install. Installation complete. Please enjoy. Finish the launch. I will. Um, and it's going to auto-launch into the app. So the first thing I'm going to do is close this. This is the most important part of the step, in my opinion, um, is we're going to have to change that executable. So basically what you want to do is go back, click Configure, Game Options, and you're going to want to select where you installed your at. So Games, there's Audio Play, and you want to select Launcher.exe. Good to go. Save. And now you can actually just delete this exe. We don't need it anymore. And you can do the same thing with other launchers, Battle.net, EA app, uh, you know, whatever, Ubisoft Connect. Um, same thing. Basically, just add it as a installed game with the installer, and then you switch out the installer for the actual executable. And got a function, Hoyo Play. Um, and I'll show you how I also install in Zone Zero. But differently, so I'm going to move that to trash. Um, this GL cache folder here also doesn't matter. It just creates it with that one specific app for some reason. We're going to empty it. And we'll come back over here, and we can also close on plus. Zone Zero is the game that I want. So I would click on it, click on Get Game. As you can see, sometimes clicking on these buttons is off. That's because of this gap in the window here in Proton. 
So you might have to click right above an option to actually select it. So this is selecting games, Chris oil play games is in zone zero. So I usually like to keep my directory separate, but I don't guess it necessarily matters. Um, definitely a game that I think I want on my internal drive. So I'm going to come back in here like this. I do a background noise, by the way. My kids are watching TV. Um, games, Chris, and there we go. We'll install it there. And we're just going to click start installation. Now, when this finishes, you can simply launch the game, log into your account. Um, make sure that if you're logging in, though, with Google, that you're not using Brave because it flat out will not work, unfortunately. So it's a good idea to have a secondary web browser for that, which I will do. Um, I usually do ungoogled Chromium, so flat pack install ungoogled Chromium. Um, and then we've got option number two here. Yes, yes. Um, excellent web browser. Most of the things you love about Chrome, um, but more functional in the sense that it's not blocking certain web pages. Whatever functionality Brave has, ad blocker, you know, so on and so forth. So I have that, um, and that's what I'm going to use. So I'll have to switch my browser preference and my settings of KDE alt app to on Google Chromium when I do that to get it to open in there. Um, but after the fact, I'll put it back to Brave, and I'm using the package of Brave anyway, the AUR Brave dash bin, um, and free download manager so it can interface properly, uh, and it works great. So we're drawing near the end of the video here. Um, I will come back with an actual video on playing it, and I'll kind of pre-cover some of this. And we're also going to do tutorials for other launchers and games at some point, like Battle.net, because I do have me some RTS games on there that I like to play. <laughs> Warcraft 3, the shitty edition, Reforged. Uh, but StarCraft is pretty cool. I like that quite a bit. But I hope you found it informative. Hopefully it helped you. Enjoy Zenless Zone Zero in Linux. If you have any issues or any questions, be sure to comment down in the video uh, below. Uh, that made no sense. Be sure to comment below the video title. Um, and if you ended up liking this and you want to click the not shiny buttons with the video title, that would also be pretty cool. Um, and last but not least, we do have a channel Discord with almost 200 people in it. So I'd like to hit 200 before Christmas, and we're almost 2,000 subs. And I really appreciate all of you for that. It's made a massive difference in my life. It's been amazing. So thank you for that. There's also ways to support the channel if you ever want to through Ko-Fi, Cash App, and PayPal. And uh, literally every bit of support helps. And I, I truly do appreciate it, guys. Um, it's been a rough year. So we're coming back from it, though. I look forward to making much more great Linux content in the near future and connecting with you guys and bringing people over to Linux, you know, being that helping hand. So it wouldn't be possible without any of you. I appreciate you all. Enjoy your game, and I will see you next time.